okay, here I am with Owen. What, what, what's the name of this trailhead? Sunburst. Sunburst trailhead. It is uh, December 26th at about 8.24 a.m. We drove over from Black Balsam Knob parking lot and Owen is wondering where the heck I'm leading him because he doesn't see a trailhead. Apparently we're doing a road. We're hiking down the road. So well, Tuesday we'll come out on that creek over there, come basically right to the car. Right now, at the base of that, at the base of the, oh. Look at that. Look at is that, eagle. that an eagle? That's an eagle. Wow. That's a bald eagle. Yeah. I guess so. Uh, I don't want to Owen, turn left. With the eagle over there. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. This is the trail. What is this crap? Warning, wilderness area. Don't let your day hike become a night rescue. <clears throat> Start running now. This is much better. Oh! It's down here! It's down here! It's down! It's going down! We're done! Oh, crap. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so that downhill was short lived, huh? Very short lived. It will be. It will be. Yeah. Yeah, every piece is down right now. We're going back up at some point. Good girl. Good girl. Yeah, that one's out. She might need more help up here. There she is.
Oh, well, now I'm videoing. We are plunged into the water and caught a fish about, I don't know, he was probably 75, 50 to 75 yards away from me. And then he flew up on a tree. It's fur. <laughs> yeah. I did not do that. <laughs> I know you didn't. A fir tree did. <laughs> like, like this. <laughs> like this. Yeah, as we're going downhill. This is my idea. This is my, this kind of up right there. <laughs> oh. Here's another one. Oh, oh. No way. Killing me. Okay, it is 1224, and we passed Green Knob, what, about a quarter mile ago? That's 5,800 something feet, 5,880 something. It is 1224, and we are smelling some pretty magical forest. Well, luckily, Owen is behind me, so. Oh, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> so I only have to worry about the forest right now. And we're a couple miles, two and a half miles or so from the water source, which is where it's we'll stop downhill. and take a break. It's all downhill. And look, 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 right now I'm going downhill. Man, these are some nice little brambles here. So how's the trail been so far, Owen? Say what? How's the trail been so far? It's been fun. Been fun? I don't feel weird. See? Oh, wait. I mean, <laughs> uh, Marcus, once again, dragged me up some mountain this time up a vertical surface um, that we had to basically crawl up for a couple miles up. That's mildly true. Yeah. Yeah. But it's done already. It was mildly entertaining. Yeah. And you're you're still alive. I'm never hiking with him again. <laughs> I think he said that last time. I say that every time. <laughs> so, so like I said, we're four plus miles in. And uh, yeah, trying to go four miles per hour. Yeah, what? Oh, he asked me to lead. What oh, am I supposed uh, to do? Hill that's all down. <laughs> okay, a little hill, mountains. Oh, Look, we can, it's, like it's so fifth, easy we can run up it. It's like the fifth mountain that we've had to go over since you said it was all downhill. So we're headed down the green <laughs> knob trail, I think it is. I, I don't know the name of the trail actually, but and it's going down to the Blue Ridge Parkway. And from there, I think we'll hop on. Maybe the MST or something. And then make our way over eventually over to Sam's Knob. So the goal is to spend the night at Sam's Knob tonight. Yeah. And we're barely halfway done with the day. So doing good so far. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. I'm not gonna forget this and I'm <laughs> not gonna ever let you forget this. So I just explained to Owen that this loop <clears throat> is pointless. It's only 30 miles or so. And we just did a six mile section just because I wanted to do one hill. And uh, that one hill was that 2,800 foot climb. And he, he's now realizing he's putting pieces together. <laughs> well, plus we've been steadily climbing downhill ever for quite a bit now. I don't know how we're still going uphill. Yeah. But anyway, so the, the parkway is right over here. Me either. And so right over here is the parkway. Like we got a little more up to do and then we'll be going down, yeah. down, 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 down. So we'll go down the, and then we're, actually we're going to go down to the river, down 215, the highway, and we'll cross 215. And then, so that's, uh, basically going that's back Black here. Balsam Knob up there. And there's Tenant Mountain, the, 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 the light, um, the light colored one. And then right there, those two little, that's Sam's Knob, north and south into Sam's Which Knob. Which we are going away from. Yes, we're going away from right now, but only for, only for like a half a mile, a mile, something like that. And then we'll turn. And I bought them from a, you know, a supply place and got them cheap. Can I wait till you hear that? Where do you go, bro? Oh, the water? Me. Oh. And the stream. Nothing important. Oh, <laughs> oh,
Okay. Come here. And I feel the same way about biking and stuff like that. I already know I'm gonna hurt. I know that going in. I think I'm gonna get I'm hurting just sitting there. Oh, okay. Oh, come here, come here, come here, come here. Good girl. Come on. What's that? Sorry, I didn't know you were filming. No, it's... Okay, so that Sam's knob up there. It is 4:16. We got about an hour before sunset. Mile 10 something, and uh, maybe a mile and a half, two miles left, maybe. I don't know exactly. We're on the Flat Oral Creek Trail now, and Owen has pointed out that there was, I don't know, about five, 18. ten waters. 18 water sources <laughs> after we filled up with three and a half liters each, three liters each. So he just wanted to make sure I was aware in case I forgot. Where are you going, Bubble? Where are you going? Come on. So now we're in the home stretch before we can get up to the top of Sam's Knob and find a camping spot. Four twenty four PM. We got about three quarter of a mile to go. We're currently at fifty five hundred feet and change and we're going up to six thousand something. Sam's knob. Owen insists that it's twelve hundred foot climb, which I don't understand if I can see it rising another He doesn't see nothing. I can't even see a mountain over there. It's so small. Can't even see it. And this is a knob, it's not even a mountain. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> so anyway, what's well funny though, what I thought was hilarious is that Owen said he didn't realize there were 9,000 foot mountains in North Carolina. So he's, he is being educated on the elevation of these mountains here in Middle Prong Wilderness, which honestly I don't know if we're in Middle Prong Wilderness right now. We may have exited it, but we're not yet in Shining Rock. So, whoo! But my car is right there. But his car is right over there. It's funny, we're gonna be a mile something, 1.6 total from the car. And what's even funnier is that tomorrow morning we could hike 1.6 mile to get to the car, or we could take the fun way and go about four miles to get to the car. But no matter what, we're gonna be passing that car tomorrow. <laughs> You couldn't hear that, but he said we've already done two things today that were humanly impossible. Which, what were the two things? Okay, climb up the mountain. Oh, oh, up uh, the green, green knob mountain. All down afterwards. And now we have to climb 
up to this monster peak up here. Oh, Sam's knob. Just a little knob. Monster. So by the way, this is the trail I thought that I was confused. I thought we were already on. Where we're going. Correct? Yes. All right. But if we went to the right at some point, I think that's it. If we went to the right, that goes to the parking lot. But right. we're going up to the top, Sam's Exactly. We're going to the top, so Which at this to point is barely a 400 foot climb. We are men and we live victoriously. Oh, there goes that again. And, okay. Uh, see that peak? Yeah. 700 feet above us right now? <laughs> That's where we're going to camp. 400, girl. 380 feet above us. Okay, here comes. Your thing is centimeters, man. <laughs> here comes the uphill part. <laughs> Owen's running me ragged today. We're going to be done about 12 miles today total. He's killing me. Because I'm here for all the way, every day. Can you make it? Can you take it? Can you be like me? <laughs> Airborne. I get fantastic campsites when I hike with you, like when we were in Virginia before, too. Much better than anything, you know, we got in Tennessee or Alabama or Georgia. What? I'm trying to get my belly in full profile. Get you all in. <laughs> oh, yeah, it looks like a freaking road, doesn't it? Yep. It doesn't, it doesn't cut the wind very well, <laughs> but uh...
Good time. So she was limping for a couple months. You got that out so much. You can go back. Yeah. If you want to. I'm serious. That's okay. I'll go back. Uh, minimum 34 miles in this. In the sandals. Okay, it's 7:40. It's 8:45 in the morning. We've been hiking for exactly an hour now. And I'm listening to Owen hiking and he did some Spartan kind of Mesolopolis thing, kind of hike 30 something miles in sandals. So on the Uinta Highline Trail, right? Yes, it was not intentional. <laughs> it was not intentional. Hey, he's got Skechers on, so whatever. <laughs> These are Solomons. Solomons. Oh, they're <laughs> Skechers. All right, so one hour into it. <laughs> And I forgot to record the, the trek for the first part, so we, I don't have it recorded, but <clears throat> we're at least a mile from the campsite, from where we camped last night at Sam's oh, yeah. Knob. We're uh, going around Little Sam's Knob on the east side, headed south, and we'll hop on the MST. Uh, yesterday was a 12 mile day, by the way. Today should be about eight and a half. Uh, mostly, mostly flat. <laughs> Keep changing. He doesn't believe me, but most other than I gotta admit, so it's mostly flat until we get to the Black Balsam Knob Trailhead, and it'll be up Black Balsam Knob, 6,200 feet, then over Tenant Mountain, 6,000 feet, and then over to Shining Rock. So that's the plan for today. Going over the mountains are flat. Yeah, going over the... In North Carolina, it all seems flat, right? It's flat. It's all relative. Okay, so Owen wanted me to record this for prosperity's sake, because the trail for Little Sam's Knob said easy, right? Easy -est. Easiest. Easiest. This is the easiest trail. And you were excited about it. And not only is it a little rocky, it also seems to be uphill. 
So Owen is once again mystified at North Carolina's nomenclature of trails. But they don't call this a wilderness area for nothing. This is where the, what is it, where the men are rugged and the women are strong and the sheep run scared. Yep. She wants to stay with our pack right now. Right. So. Yeah, so those trees up there. Pretty cool, huh? Hey, Owen, can you do me a favor? Can you run over to my bus real quick? So you can wave. Oh, can you get dragged off this rock? <laughs> I think that is a no then, huh? that I've been trying to spit out. Thank you. God. What happened? To my vocabulary. Ooh, almost died right there. Yeah, there's uh, Jeeps coming down that road. <clears throat> I think so. Well, you need the exercise. Back uphill. Oh. <laughs> There's rocks in the Shining Rock Wilderness.
Okay, Owen, where are we at? Flower Gap. Where are we headed? Hamina, Hamina. <laughs> to Shining Rock. Shining Rock. And yes, we're on the right. Art Lobe Trail? Yes, in the Shining Rock Wilderness. Yeah. Shining Rock Wilderness. That means we're the only people here. We're in the wilderness. Wilderness. We're wildering. And that is a little bit up going to something that we need to go to. Oh. Yeah. Because we uh, think Shiny Rock is like 6,000 something feet and we're going there. But first, we're going to hit the water source. Shiny is that Rock higher water than source. we are now? Yeah, a little bit. And we're going up, but not much. Maybe we could just go back that way. <laughs> we could. Yeah. We could, but we wouldn't make it to the water source and we both need water. So yeah. let's go get some water. I hate this up, but yeah, we can do it. Okay. Are we on the AT all of a sudden? <laughs> the green tunnel. It looks like it right now. Man, this is the best trail ever. <laughs> I'm so glad I'm recording right now. I know. I mean, a long video. Yeah, well, it's just to show the collection of water. Oh. Genius at work in action. Oh no, 2.07 p.m. We are at the Shining Rock water source. And you can see the water isn't flowing too quick here. This is our only water source though for the night. So we're gonna fill up. I'm gonna grab what, three and a half liters? Yeah, I think. Oh, I gotta get some water for Bobo too. Yeah. See, that's that's what I thought was right there. That's Shining Rock right there, right? Yes, that goes up on okay. top. Yeah. This okay. Yeah. Okay. Over to the side. So I just haven't been on top of it. I was right here. I, I hung my hammock right over there. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, this is a place that I... This is it? Yep, this is the camping spot. So, oh, heck yeah. This is fine. Yeah, perfect. This is fine. Yeah. 2.49, we are at our official campsite, and mileage for the day seems to be about 10 miles. Uh, yeah. A little bit more than we thought. I was thinking 8.8 .8 or something like that, but uh, we took a little couple side trails because Owen didn't want to go over that one mountain. Oh my God. <laughs> It's closed due to erosion. I think he made that up. I didn't see the sign. I didn't see it really in, with my eyes. So I think he made it up just so we didn't have to go uphill again. Holy crap. <laughs> and then the other one wound up being uphill anyway. So. Yeah, we ended, up, we ended up going uphill both ways. He should have just given. in. All these trails over the mountains are uphill. I think that's why they call them mountains. I don't understand it. <laughs> so anyway, we don't know what to do now. It's too early in the day. We also yeah. know what to do. I don't, even, I don't even want to take my pack off. I'm like, I'm not really done. So we're camping here for sure. There's a side trail that goes over to the actual Shining Rock. We're gonna, we're gonna, uh, I'm gonna drop my water. I'll drop Bobo's backpack. Uh, I'll take my pack over. We'll go look at the Shining Rock, I think. Um, see what the view is like and then come back here, set up and then just relax until it's uh, dinner time and then time for uh, sunset. And then I'll go back out there and take some, right. take some pictures, so. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.
<laughs> to puff out my chest and suck my stomach in. <laughs> So, I don't really get it. I don't get a lot of things. So here's Owen trying to steal my dog. I'm trying to tie my shoe. <laughs> it looks like you're trying to steal my dog. <laughs> <laughs> Bubba, are you happy there? Bubba, you, you won't even look at me anymore. Come on, Bubba. Come on. There you go. That was just packing up. Mm. It was just a little too late. So none of the audio was there. Oh, that's what I was wondering. Is this what we want to be talking about? <laughs> no, no, I'll, I'll get the audio out. But that's one thing I, I realized I never get video of. Uh -huh. It's like where our camp was, you know. And, and it, it's stupid details that only probably I want to remember. But sometimes it's kind of neat to look back and see where we camped, you know. I'm going to remember this spot. Right. For the rest of my life. I, I, but... But will I remember? Oh, it's it's weird. I don't know. I like um. Or I've just seen, the conversation between us. You know the videos that people have where they're where they're packing up and they they speed it up or you just see see it in different stages, yeah. little stop frames. Yeah. And everything. I, I do like that. Yeah. I, I mean it. Oh, by the way. Okay, so I have to apologize. Last night. One. I was so damn tired. I was like, <laughs> I realized I fell asleep on you at some point. Oh yeah, that was. I knew you fell asleep. You started snoring within like thirty seconds. Yes, yeah, so I'm sorry. I was I was trying to keep the conversation going, but man, I was. <laughs> well, it was it was like there was a brief pause, and I thought, is he about to say something or is he? And I was like, I don't think he needed to answer what I just said. So, <laughs> so are we are we done talking? So it's funny that you and I were talking, and, I, I <laughs> and then I hear. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, yeah, he's done. <laughs> I was waiting. I was struggling so hard because I was waiting for you to make a statement instead of a question, <laughs> so I could just mentally relax for a second. I guess I fell asleep. <laughs> when you mentally relax for a second, you're unconscious. <laughs> that's great. <laughs> if you mentally, that's like those people with a with a with a concussion. Don't let him fall asleep. Don't let him, fall, don't let him mentally relax for one second, or we've lost him. <laughs> Yep, you lost me. <laughs> That's great. Uh, so, so like right now, I feel great because I got a good night's sleep. Even though I tossed and turned 20, 30 times, but I still, you know, I mean, overall, I got a lot of sleep. I did a lot of that last night too. And I had, like I said, at least two, three, three good dreams. That were well, they're interesting. Which I mean, means I got some rapid eye movement. I'm glad that we talked about them uh, soon after waking up. Yeah, that's when I remember because. I only ever remember bits and pieces and those bits and pieces that I told you are because we talked about it I might actually remember those bits and pieces now instead of just losing those two but see I really should record us talking about our dream and that way <laughs> you will definitely have a memory of it yeah let's just video Bobo instead well this is this is <laughs> it's back time oh yeah you know what time it is, girl? Going hiking now. 
Ooh, good timing too because it just got chilly. Yeah, the wind just picked up. Oh. Hey, don't help me or anything, girl. Yeah. Yeah, I'm glad you're not video me standing up. Okay, I guess I'll get you in a bit. We had originally planned to hike the Avestor Gap Trail down to the Fork Ridge Trail and make our way back to my truck. This would have made for a 10 mile day. However, the previous night Bobo was visibly sore from our hiking and I figured it was best to cut the trip short and do an easy route of 4.6 miles directly back to Owen's car. And yeah, yeah, it's like the subway at Zion. And it's the narrow at Zion. Because back in the day, you had to discover that the, the opening to that canyon. You're out in the middle of nowhere. And you go for miles and miles and miles. And then, at the end of the canyon, Bobo. Hey. Yeah. And uh, but I have never, the whole idea is always to just looking for myself, searching for myself, discovering myself, crap. Like, 